Okay, let's do a quick tour of my battle bot here, Little Mac. So, start out right here. This is the battery. It is a 14 volt battery here, lithium polymer. This next part here is the power switch. That power switch can be used outside using the screwdriver here. You can tighten that screw, turns the power on which uh, you can see I've got two lights here, one here, one here, uh, to let you know that the robot is on and could be dangerous. Those little sparks are okay, that's just when you unscrew and screw in that screw. Next up here, we have got the uh, RC receiver right here, 2.4 gigahertz, and that has two antennas. Got both of those antennas coming out there, one routes underneath here you can kind of see it ending right there and the other comes over here and the bottom and top of this robot are plastic so we don't have any uh, blocking happening here uh, you can kind of see those screw block terminals those right there go to the motor driver board the motor driver board uh, is sandwiched uh, in there with uh, an Arduino and a little interface board that I made that uh, allows the RC receiver to communicate with the motor driver there. Next up we have some motors. You've got the two drive motors here, two uh, gearboxes on them, and then my 3D printed gears here, and then my foam tires. The center rod right here doesn't move at all. It is friction fit in there. And then these wheels on each side kind of move around there. This motor here is for the weapon, which is connected to this uh, little rubber belt here. This weapon just spins right here and hopefully catches on to another robot's chassis and throws it in the air got uh, that part, uh, pulley right there. You can change the belt without having to take the robot apart. Uh, let's see, you've got a capacitor in there. That's just for a little bit of power supply filtering. So let's turn it on and show it off a bit. Okay. Got that turned on. Got my two red LEDs. Let's get my remote control here. So I'm going to turn this on. It's uh, fairly safe. It requires all the switches to be turned off. Mm -hmm. And my robot has an arm switch. So when I hit that arm switch, you'll notice that blue light comes on. So now the robot is armed. Something could move basically. First we'll try out the weapon. Weapon can be controlled to get the exact speed you want at that setting or spin it all the way up to full speed. Then here is our drive right there. Okay. Just drive it all around with that joystick. Currently this joystick is not used for anything. Uh, this switch right here flips the direction of this control. So that way, if the robot flips upside down, I can drive it around uh, normally without having to think backwards. So you see the wheels are going backwards there. Now the wheels are going forwards. It also lets me drive the robot just in reverse so I can use these cool spikes I've got in the back. And it's got a several fail safes so for example i'm going to turn this on flip off the power switch notice the blue light turned off and the motor stopped that was not good sounding uh so we've got on back here lots of just bolts of spikes those spikes are used just for ramming into things and so that if the robot happens to land on its back, it'll either tip 
to the top or tip to the bottom. That way I can drive it still, because this can drive upside down just fine. You can see the wheels stick up above the top. Uh, same goes for these side bolts here. Those side bolts will allow it to uh, flip either one way or the other. That way you don't get stuck just on one side. And of course the front here is rounded so it won't land stuck right on the front. So now that I've shown you a little bit of the inside here, uh, there's one part missing. It will have some Velcro right here, and that Velcro will hold my top plate on. This top plate will have a little bit of Velcro there. Uh, the top plate has these washers here that are used as a little uh, clip. So I can put that in there, and it clips in the back. So let's just get that clipped in. Yep, so now that won't come out there and the velcro will hold it in the front so that way it doesn't come off yeah so you've got whole view of the mac mini here it's uh, actually backwards this part right here is the back of the mac mini originally but now it's the front of the robot you can see here is the original front of the mac mini this is the cd drive power led uh, which is not being used in, in favor of that thing so, that is Little Mac. Uh, easily replaceable belt, uh, replaceable wheels. Uh, you can pull that charging cable out right here to charge the battery without having to take the robot apart. And a lot of the other parts are just glued in, just like a modern Apple product. So, it is ready for some test driving and for some practice driving. I need to get good at driving this thing so that I can win my first battle. Thank you for watching and I hope to have some more videos soon. Thank you.